<coughs> so, as a fan of the horror genre, obviously I watch a lot of horror movies and play a lot of horror games, that makes sense. Um, but as I've watched and played these, I've noticed a collective, like, couple of things that every single character almost always does. So I'm here to talk about it. So let's just get straight into it. Number one, if you hear a scary sound, do not go and investigate it. That is how you get a knife lodged in your skull. Ten times out of ten in any horror movie, you hear, like, some rustling from the other room or just anything. Like, someone, like, the brave character is just like, Oh, I'll go investigate it. And then they go, and then they die. Because the killer is hiding right there. Number two. Why are you always fucking falling? It's not that hard to just stay upright. You're running from someone who's probably carrying like a chainsaw. D do you know how heavy a chainsaw is? I sure don't, but I assume it's super heavy. And they're also probably wearing a mask since every famous horror movie killer wears a mask. Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Leatherface. It limits their vision. So they're carrying a very heavy weapon and a limit visioning mask and you're wearing normal clothes. And you're the one that's fallen over. Not them, you. Number three. If there's like a haunted CD or VHS, don't buy it and play it because it's haunted. You know what's going to happen if you play it. You're going to die. So just don't. Number four. Listen to the stoner. They may be high right now, but listen to them because they know what's going on more than anybody. They're going to save your life. Number five, don't have sex. Whatever you do, don't have sex because sex equals death. Stay away from the booba, stay away from the D. Just don't fuck because then you're going to die because all horror movie killers hate sex. And I would much rather live and be a virgin than die not a virgin. Number six, this one is a continuation of number two, but most killers don't even run, they walk. Have you seen Halloween? Michael Myers literally just like, trolls along, da -de -da -de -da, and you're running from him, and has somehow you can't outrun him. He is walking, you are running, it's not that f***ing hard. Number seven, whatever you do, don't split up. Whatever you do, do not do this. This is the worst idea. You know there's a killer around, but if you split up, that just gives the killer more chances to kill people without someone fighting back. If you go as a group and the killer tries to attack someone, you have like four other people that can protect you. If you split up, you have no one to help you, and the killer is going to get you, and you're going to get your throat slit. Number eight. Wait, are we at eight? Yeah, okay, wait. Put your goddamn phone on silent mode. In every horror movie, there's always that one scene where someone's hiding from the killer in like a closet or under the bed, and then their phone starts ringing, and then the killer just goes straight for them. Number nine. So, um, you, you know when you were driving up to your little cabin in the woods, and then some creepy ass f guy comes out and he like warns you, don't go there, many people died, or something like that. Listen to his advice. He's not- he's not crazy. He's not deranged. He knows exactly what the f*** went down there, and he's- he's helping you. He wants you to not die. Don't just be like, ugh, what a crazy old guy. Like, listen to them! Listen to them! Please, for the love of fucking god. And finally, number 10. If you see an axe, run, because there is going to be a Shining reference. Just- just run. I've seen too many Shining references, just- just go, please, please, go, 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 no, 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 it's already- no!